Hi, I'm Stephanie Crawford, and welcome to another episode where we talk about IoT challenges for the corporate network and how technology at HPE Aruba Networking addresses those challenges. Today, we'll be talking about IoT and sustainability with Sherry Martin, Senior Solutions Marketing Manager. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here, and thanks to all of our listeners for tuning in. Well, thanks for being here. To start us off, can you tell us how HPE Aruba Networking approaches sustainability? Great question. So HPE Aruba Networking has a long history of leading innovation, and much of the development that we've done and are doing to drive IT efficiency also positively contributes to our customers' sustainable IT profile. But when we typically talk to them about their architecture needs and what differentiates HPE from other vendors, our conversations tend to focus on efficient IT operations and the benefits of our portfolio in helping them streamline workflows and proactively deliver high performance connectivity across their enterprise. So how does that relate to sustainability? Well, IT efficiency is synonymous with sustainable IT operations because the more efficient the network is, the less power and fewer resources it will consume while still delivering on service level expectations. That's why you need a modern network architecture designed for agility and performance at scale, which is how we architected the HPE Aruba Networking Edge Services Platform, or ESP for short. We've talked about ESP in other episodes, but in the context of efficiency and sustainability, each product's power requirement and carbon footprint varies, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Every hardware and software element in the ecosystem contributes to the overall efficiency of the network. And that's why when we consider the sustainability attributes of individual products, we look at three main functions, how they're made, how they work, and how they're used. How they're made includes all the activities related to design, creation, and production of our products, such as eliminating harmful materials and designing for recyclability. How they work includes all the operational properties that optimize power efficiency and performance, like AI automation and intelligent power management features. And how they're used incorporates all the ways that customers utilize the network to help lower carbon emissions and manage resources more effectively, like centralized cloud-based management and integrated IoT solutions. So I would imagine that if we're talking about our products in the context of IoT, really only the how they're used function would apply, right? No, not at all. When it comes to how our products are made, we have purposefully designed our access points to be a platform for IoT applications. Aruba's access points enable a direct connection of those devices through Bluetooth, Zigbee, and PoE ports. So having a direct connection eliminates the need for overlay appliances that would increase cost, carbon emissions, and lifecycle management activity. As far as how our products work, we've made it very easy to onboard and configure IoT services within HPE Aruba Networking Central, which in turn enables our customers to maximize their IT efficiency and save resources. Of course, beyond the efficiency of our own products, our flexible infrastructure also enables other energy saving solutions to run on the network. Right. The IoT devices and applications themselves enable efficient resource management and smart office improvements, including sensors that control power, lighting, cooling, and even water to name a few. We have great relationships with numerous technology partners that have integrated their solutions with the HPE Aruba Networking Central Management System using our full suite of RESTful APIs, which means that there are IoT solutions available that are easy to configure and implement right out of the box. Can you give us any specific examples of how our customers might be using and benefiting from these solutions? Absolutely. The first use case that comes to mind is a financial customer that needed better conference room utilization, as well as to take steps towards compliance with an upcoming industry regulation for building automation and control. For years, they had their 800 employee workforce working in a 215,000 square foot building with limited conference room space. So they had two large conference rooms, 30 meeting rooms, and the rest was flexible workspaces. Instead of expanding their real estate footprint, they wanted to implement a smart workplace with an automated system for managing meeting room reservations that was sustainable, easy to set up, and scalable. What did their solution wind up looking like? They installed HPE Aruba Networking Wi-Fi 6 access points, our management solution, and our ClearPass security solution, along with automated room registration and solar-powered occupancy sensors and workplace management software. 
The sensors are connected directly to the Aruba infrastructure, eliminating the need for an overlay management platform for communication. And once they're installed, they are immediately and automatically detected and secured by our ClearPass security solution based on their device profile. So did all of that allow them to achieve what they set out to do? Yes, the outcome was amazing. Their solution allows employees to use a smartphone or laptop to streamline meeting room bookings. And now they can monitor the attendance and absence of individuals using Wi-Fi monitoring terminals that upload the data to their workspace management software. This has enabled them to free up 20% more meeting room availability. Also, the solar power sensors do not require a battery and they have a 20 year lifespan, ensuring our customers ability to maximize the ROI. And because the sensors are connected directly to the access points, instead of installed as discrete devices, they were able to reduce the amount of cabling required. Wow, that is impressive. Yes, it is. And the second phase of their project, their Flex Office initiative, will incorporate multifunction sensors that will not only detect movement, but also temperature, humidity, brightness, and vibration to further enhance their ability to detect occupancy in real time, manage room controls, and optimize the amount of power consumed based on demand. To lower their power consumption further, they can start taking advantage of the scheduled power management feature on our APs that powers them down during periods of inactivity, like in the middle of the night. Aside from meeting room optimization, can you give us an example from another industry? Most definitely. Smart office and smart campus solutions are great for education as well. We have a university customer that built a smart campus of the future, supported by a high-performance network environment across their 617-acre site, and they cater to a diverse range of users and applications, including IoT sensors and building automation. By partnering with us, they can now provide a wireless-first experience for over 10,000 users and expand methods of mobile media-rich learning, facilitate new forms of collaboration, leverage smart campus features to optimize resource consumption, and safely extend network access to a larger community of users. Excellent. I know you have lots of these examples, but can you give us just one more? Absolutely. We're enabling sustainable use cases in nearly every industry, not only for minimizing power consumption, but also to enable better resource management and social improvements. A good example are our large venue customers around the globe that apply multiple vertical applications in a single location. Not only are touchless services and digital content delivery systems employed to elevate fan experiences, but also IoT applications are used to enable venue operators to control power and resource consumption based on occupancy and usage. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us about the sustainability enabling aspects of HPE Aruba Networking. Where can our audience get more details? They can go to arubanetworks.com and search for sustainability. Well, great. That wraps up this episode. And thanks again, Sherry. Thanks to all of our listeners. And if you've missed any of our previous episodes, please look for them on your favorite podcast platform, YouTube, or blogs.arubanetworks.com slash podcasts.